Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is about API scams. So what is an API scam and how does it work? So let's say you want to trade a skin to your friend. When you're sending a trade offer to another person on Steam, you can confirm the trade on the mobile Steam app. However, during an API scam, the trade offer is automatically cancelled and sent to a fake account with the same name and profile picture as the friend you're trying to send the skin to. So, when you're confirming the trade on your phone and double check the trade, you can get confused by a profile disguised as your friend's account sending the skin to the scammer's fake account. So how can you avoid getting API scammed? First of all, you can check if your account is safe by going to steamcommunity.com forward slash dev forward slash API key. This link should be in the description below. Here you shouldn't see any info in the domain name or if you do, it should be something that you've put manually in the past. If there's something there when you haven't previously changed this or it's different to what you've put in the past that you don't recognize, then it's very likely you're at risk. If this is the case, you need to change your password and deauthorize any devices logged into your Steam account. Also, change any passwords that are common with your Steam account as your password may have been hacked or leaked. Once you've done this, you should press the Revoke My Steam Web API button. If you've been API infected before, recheck this page before sending future trades just to be safe. So what are some other things you can do to avoid getting API scam? You should always make sure that you're already signed into Steam through the Steam browser on the official Steam website, and that way you shouldn't be asked to sign in or log in with passwords when you're logging into third-party sites. When sending trades, Make sure to look out for key things that verify the account is correct. Check how old the account is, check the Steam level, and whether or not you're friends with the account. You can also add a small item on their side of the trade, like a cheap graffiti, which will make it easier to verify on mobile. Once the trade is sent and you're confirming the trade on your phone, check that the level, the age of the account matches up, and that you're friends with the account to be 100% sure. You can also quickly see if the graffiti is still there as it wouldn't be there in an API scam. If all of these do match up, then the trade is safe to send and you don't have to worry. But if the age, the steam level or anything else isn't the same, you might be at risk of being scammed. You also wouldn't see the graffiti which can help to identify the scam faster. That about sums up API scams and how to avoid getting scammed yourself. Just to summarize, always make sure you check your API key and double check that all the info matches up before accepting or sending a trade. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And if you have any tips for avoid getting scammed, put them in the comments below. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.